some reflections on the working horse. Suddenly as you're stuck in traffic and the long commute home, suddenly there'll be this blast from a free and liberated past as a young boy gallops down the side of the freeway on a horse that is just as happy and liberated as he is, many times bareback, and you just get a, a brief inkling of an ancient relationship between humans and horses that, that has actually persisted. And I, I think on a purely, um, you know, utilitarian level as well, horses have a, a place to play in the city. So where to they're hauling coal. Here they're doing scrap. Here they, they're providing far more than just, um, you know, um, low commercial transport for people, for people who actually are fairly poverty stricken very often. They're doing far more than that. They're also providing ties to the past, ties to what um, families have done for generations, and actually, I think, a tie to the future. Because I would be very surprised not to see horses being more important as we move to greater understandings of sustainability. The Cart Horse Protection Association was created in 1995 with the express mission of improving the life and working conditions of the Cape Cart Horse. Why do we do what we've been doing over the last 20 years? Has it been for the communities on the Cape Flats? For the residents of the Greater Cape Town area? Or perhaps to uphold Great Cape traditions and heritage? Maybe it's been for the Carties, those streetwise smosa cum scavengers who ply our suburbs for scrap and any other opportunities that might come their way. It's been for all these things. But most of all, it's been for the horses. Um, but they're not the main focus why we are here. The horses are. It all comes down to the well-being of the horse. At the end of the day, it's about the horses. The 90s were tough. The newly formed Cart Horse Protection Association had many mountains to climb. After the turn of the millennium, there was light at the end of the tunnel. Have we made a difference? The many times you get asked, um, you know, do you feel that Cartos has made a difference or is the abuse out there really bad? Um, and I always answer that we 20 years old. If you look at the organization and the horses and the people 20 years ago and you compare them to now, it's, it's phenomenal. Yes, we've made a difference and that is why, why, why we motivate because we want to continue to make a difference because you improve a horse's life. So what's been the recipe that's led to the Cart Horse Protection Association's success over the last 20 years? One of the ingredients is know your territory. Well, it's important to, to, to know and understand um, who you work with, who you deal with, um, the background of the person who you deal with. Um, once you know that, then obviously you know where they stay, you know how they stay, you know how they live, you know their horses. Um, and based upon that, you can form a little, little bit of a picture of who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with and how you can educate and, and how you can go forward. It's, it's easy. After a while, it's easy get to relate to the area. You know how to work with the people and you become acceptable or they accept you within the area much more than they would accept the police. Once you're within their circle, once you're within their circle, then you're okay. You trust and they will listen. And educate. Educate leads to um, um, improvement in the condition of the horse and, you know, preventing the abuse, hopefully. We are also fair and consistent at all times. The car horse owners also know that there's no excuse for abuse or neglect because we are here. And over the years, it's, we've always educated and we've been very fair. Very fairness generates trust and so when we get a situation now where we ta we confiscate it is it is understood that this is what is supposed to happen and because we are we are here and they have an opportunity to come to us for help if they want because we are fair, they, um, when you do confiscate, they, then they know. If you say unhitch load, they have been warned, they had all the opportunities to improve themselves. Um, 
and uh, they know that they were in the wrong and they will tell you sorry I know I'm wrong I know I was wrong another important ingredient has been the caliber of our staff our staff members are uh, one of the biggest cornerstones of the success of the organization and the work that we've done um, we have a lot of staff members that have been with us for many many years and are very dedicated and committed I also think a lot of the staff members, car tours isn't just a job, it's a life. And so you, you, almost, you almost dedicate your life to, to your job and to the cause and to the success and to the lives of the horses. The establishment of a recovery and rehabilitation centre out at Somerset West enhanced our service offering hugely. This facility was made possible by a generous bequest from the late B.T. Van Fleet. It provides a place of safety for abused cart horses, sick and injured animals, as well as equines needing rest and a rehabilitation. It offers maternity care for foiling mares. The centre provides a platform to interface with the public at a different level, such as at this Washer Horse Day where people from other walks of life can learn about the association's work. The people who, 20 years ago, had a vision for the cart horse's future. We mustn't forget the people who started the future. Because I think the people who started the future has done an extremely good job. Their, their vision, um, what they saw, the, what they saw about the horse and how they, how they went about to create the cart horse, they need, like Carl would say, hats off for them. The need for maintaining high standards and ongoing training is vital. Obviously the standard that was set um, by my predecessor, I assume much, and Dr. Noyle, it was very high. Now it's up to us to continue training new staff members and to try our best to maintain the high standards. We do education, we do now new training with new, um, new uh, equine welfare practitioners. Um, they currently, it's currently undergoing, and it's very important to continuously train new people to do exactly what we do, what we've been doing for 20 years. The, the industry will never die, but it will get smaller, because that's what has happened over the years. It's never got bigger has got smaller and hopefully one day we'll have a core of owners who are really good horsemen um, and are, are here but it's not getting bigger or um, growing which is, a, which, is a, which is a comfort. What Cape Town's cart horse industry has meant to the people of the Cart Horse Protection Association. But the people we work with and the abuse we see and how they try and improve themselves has changed me, has made me a better person. So it's not what we can do for them, it's I need to thank them for making me, I hope, a better person. Mm -hmm. um, and that is why you, you don't want to stop, because you feel good about what you do, you feel good about how you do it, um, you believe in what your organization stands for, because I believe 100% what Carter stands for. That is why we, we just hang around, stay around. Cart horses have a way of finding places in the bottom of people's hearts. When I started, uh, you know, all these, all these horses coming to the clinic and all these new horses, new faces, once you start to meet them, once you start to meet the horses, you realize how, how a special breed of horse the working cart horse is, it's not your normal horse. Your working cart horse is really not a normal horse. They're bomb proof, you know, bullets can fly all over and they will munch away. Um, and they, they, find, they found their own way to creep right into the bottom of your heart. And there where they are, there, where, there they stay till the day I'll die. Let's have a quick look into the future. This year we're celebrating our 20th anniversary and I think that one has to go back and thank the people that started it, people who saw the horses 20 years ago and thought they had to do something about it. And there's many, many people along the road that um, all had a very big part to play to the point where we are today, um, which we can all be very, very proud of, from donors to volunteers to staff to horses to owners to drivers. Um, so. Everybody has been a very integral part of that process and our success that we are today. 
but because Cartus is a progressive organisation and we won't ever stand still, um, we are looking. You know, we will look forward at other challenges that we can we can um, we can take on, and hopefully be able to help a lot more horses than we are helping currently.